Hi and welcome back to MB Tech. This is Matthew Bingham and today we're going to go over talking about installing net data. Uh, net data is very similar to some of the other type of uh, monitoring tools if you will. It'll actually show you more real time of what's going on with your system instead of you know a five minute check or you know a longer one than that on some of these other type of monitoring ones. Uh, this is actually installed locally on the box. We'll go over just the basic net install or the net uh, data install on the system itself. Uh, it's a real easy bash uh, curl command. Um, once that gets going, it'll actually kickstart into it and that data will start working on your system. Uh, we'll be going into a little bit further details with this one. Uh, initially, I just want to get this out there to show you that there's another option uh, to Observium and Nagios and all the other uh, type of uh, open source monitoring tools that there are uh, for this. But uh, this one here, this is a basic install, so you see you get what's out of the box. Uh, for the future, we'll be actually talking about like anomalies and stuff like that, setting up alerts, and then also going to the point where we can actually set it up to have a, another server, a VM, uh, that will actually store all the information for a longer period of time because there's a limited period of time that this will stay on the system themselves. So you might be able to check for like two or three days and get two or three days worth of data, but if you want anything longer than that, it's better to ship that stuff off to another server that can sit there and get that information and be able to display it in graphs and stuff like that. We might even tie in Grafana with that as well. Um, you know, maybe even uh, another database for time series. Uh, we could use like Graphite for that uh, and then pull from there and actually show in Grafana once again uh, for that information. But this is just a really neat, uh, easy to install, uh, pretty low uh, bandwidth utilization or you know use of cpu and memory uh, i like the product itself you know i installed on some of my uh, systems just as a uh, good what's going on with the system what applications are doing what that type of information to install that data is quite easy all you got to do is run this command um, what this does is actually downloads the kickstart file and uses bash to kick it off uh, so all we do here is we'll hit enter Hit enter to run. Oh, this will take a little bit of time, so I'm actually going to fast forward everything to once it's finished. I'll say yes to this. Okay, the installation is completed. And as you can see, there's a bunch of information here that's pretty useful. Uh, what you do is you can scroll up a little bit. And what you can see is it tells you how to access this information. It's going to be the IP address of this machine. And then the port is 19 or 19999. Uh, if you want to stop net data, this is the command that you run. If you want to start net data, that's the command you run. Um, other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, next, right now, what we're doing is we're actually going to go to a web browser and go to this box and see what shows up for it uh, at that port. Put in that IP address. Put in that port. And there's our net data. Um, here we're going to set it to last five, so it'll fill up the screen a little bit more. And then here you can see the information, and you can scroll it, which is kind of nice. And then I've already included one after multiple hours of running, uh, so we'll check that out right after this. We can see our CPU, disk weight, uh, use swap. Uh, net inbound, net outbound, and amount of RAM that's used on the system. Uh, if we scroll down further, we can see that there's the CPU, here's the load, uh, disk, uh, you can see the I.O. for the disk, your RAM utilization, swap, everything here on the right hand side you can actually drill down a little bit further. So if we want to go drill down more into the CPUs, we can drill down into that. Here it's actually showing the four CPUs that are on this Raspberry Pi, since it's a four core. Um, you can see the interrupts, 
Um, if we want to go down more into the memory, we can see the memory, uh, how it's profiling up there. Uh, this one here, I've actually installed the uh, profiler or uh, thing for anomalies. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, it's going to be in a different video, a more advanced video that you get more into the net data information. Uh, but if you click on the anomalies, you can actually see uh, the information that's picked up, uh, what systems are doing what. Everything looks good here from you know its perspective. But if there's something that's really out of uh, uh, you know parameters or something really hitting your system or something that doesn't seem right, then this would uh, definitely pull in that information. And I'll show how to install that as well. Uh, that'll be in a later video. I just wanted to show you a different type of monitoring platform that's pretty easy to set up on the Raspberry Pi. This will work on the Raspberry Pi 3 as well as the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, very easy install script once it gets up and running. Uh, this one here has been actually running for, I think we can get the last two hours. So yeah, we can get the last two hours of information uh, for this system here. And you can see how it's done over the last two hours. Uh, there's some spikes here, but then it's been running pretty smooth ever since. Um, that's all I have for net data. Like I said, it's very easy to install. I'll have information in the links to the, actually take you to the net uh, data site itself, uh, as well as uh, you know some more advanced links like that if you need that information, like exporting to an external database or external system, or as well as also, you know, like I said, setting up the, the anomaly so you can see uh, those on your system as well. Uh, so I'll put that information uh, here as well as on the, uh, the links for that. Thank you for watching this video on net data. If you would, please subscribe, like this channel, and I'll be getting some more content out. I'm going to be trying to get out a couple videos a week, if not at least one a week, uh, on different information on different areas. Uh, currently right now I'm concentrating on the Raspberry Pi, but if there's something else you'd like me to dig into, I'll be more than uh, happy to. Uh, it really doesn't matter anything in the IT space I can pretty much cover for the most part. Uh, again, thank you and have a great night.